In a previous video, you learned that part of your pitch is to talk about the people you will interview. In this video, you'll learn about the different types of sources, meaning the different types of people who you could interview for your story. There are four main types of sources. Eyewitnesses, related people, experts, and people in authority. Let's think about a possible example news story and look at who these four sources might be. The story is about an explosion in a factory that happens in your city. The explosion happens at night, so there are not many people in the factory, but sadly one person is injured and in the hospital. Earlier we talked about eyewitnesses and said that these are the people who actually see something happen. In the example we have, an eyewitness would need to actually see the explosion in the factory. Maybe they live near to the factory, or they were walking past. As a source, this person provides the physical details of the explosion when it happened, what it looked and sounded like, and how long it lasted. The second type of source is a person who is related to someone who plays an important part in the story. In the case of the factory explosion, it could be someone who is related to the injured person, perhaps a friend or family member. This friend or relation can provide personal details about the injured person. What type of person they are, for example, how long they worked at the factory. They could also give personal details, such as whether they are married, do they have any children, and maybe talk about their injuries. The third type of source is an expert in the field of the story. So, because the story we're looking at is about a fire in a factory, the expert will probably work in fire safety. It's not necessary for the expert to know about this particular fire. It's enough that they're an expert in the field. This person can talk generally about what happens in fires of this type, how they start, how they spread, move from one place to another, and how they can be stopped. But this person will not usually guess what happened in this particular fire, unless they have specific knowledge about it. The fourth type of source is a person in authority. In this case, it could be the owner of the factory. These types of sources are usually the hardest to interview because the person in authority might not want to talk about what has happened, especially if they're responsible. This person can talk about the safety conditions in the factory, such as whether smoke alarms were installed, the amount of damage that the fire has caused, and give more details about the person who was injured. So, in this video, we talked about the different types of sources that a journalist can interview for their story. An eyewitness, someone related to an important person in the story, an expert in the field, 
or a person in authority.